Let's make our own YouTube end screen in Filmora Go. Okay, for this we're going to go to our YouTube studio. We're going to find one of our videos, click play. We're going to flip our phone around and then we're going to go to the end of the video and find the end screen and take a screenshot. And we're going to close that, go to Filmora Go and open the app. Create a new project. We're going to import the still that we've just taken of our end screen. Okay, we're going to resize it so it's about 10 seconds long, the size of most end screens on YouTube. Now this is quite important. The first thing we're going to do is go to Canvas, go to Format and make sure it's 16 by 9 which is the YouTube settings. Resize our still frame so it fits 16 by nine. Okay, come out there, select our sticker option again, go to shop, find our like and subscribe stickers, get a go so they appear underneath the video, and then we're gonna choose our subscribe button. Click tick so it appears on the video, and we're gonna resize it and put it next to the actual subscribe button on our end screen. Next, we're going to select text from the menu, which will bring up this text box. We're going to type next video. Click our little palette. Go to bold to make the text more bold. And then you can change the color of the text here if you want to, but we're going to keep it white. And we're going to resize it and pop it underneath the next video icon on our end screen. Okay, then we're going to go to add sticker again. This time we're going to go to search and we're going to type in arrow. Go to sticker and we're going to find the arrow we want and we're going to click tick, add it to our video and we'll resize it and pop it next to the subscribe so it's pointing at the subscribe button. Then we're going to go back to our stickers, find the other arrow, click tick so it appears on our video and then we're going to have that arrow pointing at our next video icon on the end screen. Then we're going to stretch all our stickers and text out so they fill the whole of the video just by clicking and dragging. You can pinch in and out of the timeline with your fingers so you can see what you're doing. Okay, the final thing to do is you're going to select the video clip and then you're going to go to opacity and bring that right down to zero. And there you go, now you've got your end screen for YouTube. Change your resolution to 1080p. Click export and export the end screen. And then you can use that on any of your YouTube videos. Nice and simple way to make your YouTube end screen. So there you go, that's how it's done. Really hope you found this video useful and I'll catch you in the next video.